Hello, Boulder. I am Jackie de Klerk, your success coach. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to release your e-learning with Super Checkout. To ensure that this video is not too long, I have already created all we need in advance so I can show you step by step the most important things you will need to ensure that your e-learning has been released through Super Checkout. Now on my screen, you're going to see that we have mailing boss. And that is going to be your first step, as we would like to make sure that we also have our student added to a list so we can build a relationship with them. Now, in this example, we are using the list called e-learning course. Once you've created the list, you can close that page and you're going to go to your website builder. In your website builder, you need to create all the pages you are going to need because they need to link up with Super Checkout. So in this example, Example, we've got the e-learning course page and this is where the course is going to be sold and then we've got the thank you page where the course will be delivered in this area I've got two different options that I will show you in just a moment on the left hand side you're going to scroll until you see super checkout you're going to click and it's going to open up a page looking like this now if it's the new first time that you are using that specific domain it's not going to look exactly like this. It's going to ask you for your business info. But once you have saved your business info, you will be able to click on create a new product and it will take you through the steps and up to this point. So for this example, I'm just going to click on edit so that you can see exactly what you need to do. Now, to save us some time, I'm not going to go through each and every single area inside of Super Checkout. You will need to fill that in yourself. I'm only going to focus on the things that you have to add to make sure that the course is released. So the first one, you can see you have product info that you need to add. You're going to add your pricing, product quantification, affiliation. And the first one we need to look at is design. Now, in the design area right here, you will see that there's two set separate areas that you need to choose. The first one would be your thank you page. And the second one is where the page is going to be delivered or being sold. Now, you don't have to choose a page on your site to deliver the page. You can make use of a custom thank you URL. Maybe the, it's you're going to add the course on somebody else's website. Then you would be able to use it by using this function right here at the top. But in this example, we're just using our thank you page and the page where we are going to sell the course. Then we're going to scroll down. We're going to get to the email campaign. Right here, we're going to choose the mailing boss list that you've created that I showed you just in a few seconds ago. And then we're going to scroll and we're going to skip the restricted areas because that are mostly used for membership pages. We're going to go to the integrations. In the integrations area, you're going to scroll to register a new student in e-learning. There is a drop down and you're going to choose the course that you want to release. Once you have done that, you're going to click for shipping and terms of use. <clears throat> and once you've done that, you're going to click and save. In my case, I'm just going to click on update and finalize. Then your product has already been created and it looks just like this. So now we need to grab the link. We're going to click on links and you'll see that there is a checkout URL. You're going to copy that. And then we're going to go and make sure that you open up the e-learning that you've already created. So for our example that we're using here, I've created a course called e-learning course. I'm just going to click on edit course and we're going to go to the area that you need, which is registration and protection. You're going to choose how you want to release it. In this case, it's going to be registration required to view content because they're going to purchase it. And the most important part is right here. This is where you are going to paste the call, the super checkout link, because in this case, you only want a person to purchase it through super checkout and no other means. If you do want to give them the option to purchase in another way, you can slide it and make it a closed registration. But in this example, we are adding the custom registration there. All you need to do is then click on save. Now it's been created and then you're going to go back to the course. And we're going to go back to our website. And now this is the first page in our website. 
Now, to be able to send somebody to the super checkout that they can purchase the product, you need to have either a buy button or you can have a form. It depends on which one you prefer. It could be an embedded iframe or it could be a button. Now, in this example, we are making, making use of a buy now button. You're going to click on the link. And there is two options that you can use to add your super checkout to this area. And the one is by going to super checkout, grabbing that link and add it to the e-learning e right here. Or you can go to super checkout right here. I'm going to refresh the list and you can choose it right from this area. Now it's up to you which one you prefer. Once you've done that, you're going to click on save. Now, once this page has been done, you're going to click save again. And yes, publish my site because you want it to be live on the internet and with the changes that you have made. So once you're done, you can just click close. I'm going to close that area. And now we are in the page where they are going to deliver the product, which is this page right here. So now in this page, you can see I've added two different options. We've got one to access the course via a link, or you've got another one where you can add the iframe. So if we are going to make use of access the course via link, we need to go back to our e-learning. Right here, you're going to see is an embed code area. You're going to click on embed, and there is the direct link. You're going to copy that, go back to the page, click on the little set link and you're going to add your e-learning course in right there and then click save now in this example i've already done it so i don't need to save again if you want to make use of it being in inside of your web page then you can add an iframe so i'm going to go back to the e-learning and you're going to see here is the embedded code for the course you're going to copy that you're going to go back to your page and then for the iframe, you're going to find it under elements and you're going to scroll until you see iframe and going to click and then you drag and drop it onto the page. Now, for this example, I'm just going to right click because it's already on the page. And then you're going to see that you've got the option to embed the URL, which is the link you use there, or you can add the embedded code in that area. So let's just do that one one more time just to make sure because sometimes people struggle with that. We're going to drag and drop. Then we're going to click right click, embed URL or embed the document, whichever one you prefer, and you're going to click apply. And then you're going to stretch it to the way that you want it on the page. So for that was just the two examples that you can use to do that. Now, the benefits of em embedding it onto a page like this and not onto a button is that when a person is going to go to the e-learning onto your site, they are going to see the URL of the website and not the URL of the e-learning like it is right here. And that is basically all there is to this. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little tour. And if you have any questions or problems using this tool, our technical support team is always available to help you. You can also find additional resources on our YouTube channel in Builderall or in our knowledge base. See you next time, Builder. Bye.